Hi, this is Andrew again from DPS, and today I want to answer for you a question that I get quite a bit when people are first starting to learn about SNMP and they get beyond the absolute basics, and that is what are the different versions of SNMP? And there are three that we need to look at. So let me write up here for reference V1 or SNMP version 1. So what is that? Well, that's most of the core things that you probably already know about SNMP if you've started learning about it. You're, you have a couple different kinds of devices. We have an agent down here, and we're going to have several different kinds of devices, different things. All sorts of different devices can support SNMP. And then we have to have some kind of a central manager. This can be a piece of software, could be a dedicated server, could be a device that does other things and is also an SNMP manager. And what you're going to do is have communication going back and forth between these devices. And this is over, uh, over LAN, but I've, I haven't drawn a LAN cloud here, but that's, that'll just be implied. We'll, uh, we'll write LAN over here, just as a reminder. And you have messages going up, which are called traps. And these are asynchronous messages sent by the agents. And then you also have things like gets and also sets. All these types could go to any agent. I've just drawn them on different agents here. Gets are sent down from the manager to the agent saying, hey, give me the current value, maybe your temperature or oil pressure or anything. And then there will be a response sent back. And then a similar thing with sets, but these are requests to do something, saying, hey, agent, turn this on or activate this system or turn this off. So sets, similarly, go down to agents and come back up. So that's really the absolute basics about what's, what SNMP is. You're managing your network, apparently simply, but as we've learned about SNMP, it's not that simple. And it gets the job done. But as with anything, you are going to come across things that you wish you could do better. And so how does that happen? Well, eventually, we get to SNMP v2, and you'll hear it commonly referred to as V2C. That's just because pretty quickly there, we went through build A and build B. You get to V2C and that becomes really the, the real standard. So when you hear V2C, you can just think V2. This adds a couple of things. One of the problems with traps here, you notice I only drew the arrow in one direction. That's because traps are not delivery confirmed. There's no confirmation where the manager says, Hi, hey there agent, I got your trap, you're good to go. So in some contexts for network security purposes, here at DPS, we've had to devise systems where that's desired for security reasons. We don't want anything coming down. So we'll just send the trap a few times with the idea that with redundancy, it's going to get through. But V2C had an elegant way of dealing with this problem as long as you're able to send messages back down. It has what's called the inform message type. And it's basically functionally identical to a trap. It's going to go up. But critically, there will be a response from the manager saying, yes, I got it. So that's one thing that got added. Another message type was the get bulk. So with gets, you would have to say, give me this one value. Here's one response. And then the manager could immediately say, OK, give me this other value, and then a response. And you could have a whole sequence of those. There's an idea of a get bulk message. And the bulk part just indicates that this device is being requested multiple things. So the manager will say, give me all of these values, and there will be one big response, a large packet of responses that will come back saying, all right, here are all these different values that you wanted. So that was a little bit different. So as you can see, V2C added some nice little things, but nothing earth shattering. Functionally, we're still looking at SNMP. And now finally, we get to the version that is the newest as of late, V3. And V3 is really all about security. So all of this communication that we've talked about here is great, but it is completely unencrypted. Right? There's, it's a rather verbose protocol. And it could be intercepted. And you can also be sending sets down. And uh, with, with no kind of security, people could be manipulating your devices. So the network is expected to be secured, but there was a desire for an additional layer just as an added piece of protection. So with V3, you're getting encryption. And you'll see a variety of different concepts under there. There's 
authentication and privacy settings and different quasi-passwords. Uh, SNMP in earlier versions had what was known as the community string, but that was just a very, very basic kind of a simple password. It wasn't actually true encryption, whereas with V3 you're getting something that's much more secure. So I hope that helps you understand some of the key differences in SNMP. The versions are different in significant ways, but most managers, or virtually all managers, are going to be backward compatible. So you get a V3 manager, it's really going to be able to do V2 or, or V1 as well. I'd be incredibly surprised if it didn't. So this should give you an understanding as you start to work with SNMP. I really hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this one. Until next time, this is Andrew wishing you excellent network reliability. Yeah.